Okay, so welcome everybody to this uh, tune-in, this Akashic tune-in. This is supporting you with your own Akashic Record practice. And each week we go with a different theme, um, a different focus that is really supporting you with being able to activate your own healing within your Akashic Records, get insight, wisdom and guidance. And this is really to support you with elevating perhaps your vibration, supporting you with breakthroughs in your life, in your business, in your relationships, with your health. I'm here for it. I'm here to support you. And usually the theme comes from the weekly Akashic Oracle um, guidance that I have already given um, on a Sunday. And so the Akashic Oracle deck, that's the one that I use. And what I was given today was to focus more on this true service card that came up yesterday and so I'm just going to read a little bit from the book just so you've got kind of a flavor and an overview of what this card represents and then I'm going to take you into your Akashic Records in a short uh, meditation and what we're going to do is we're going to be releasing relinquishing uh, vows of servitude vows of sacrifice which we may be upholding subconsciously, unconsciously in our records that are not supporting us with being in true service to ourselves without the feelings of guilt, without the kind of like, should I really be doing this? I need to be supporting others before myself. So it's kind of releasing that maybe thought, feeling, impulse, um, all of those things. So I'm just going to hold the card up just as I read what it says so being in true service to others requires you to be in true service to yourself first and this won't be anything that you've not already heard we you know there's uh, a lot of information around you know making sure that you are self-full not selfish it's self-full so filling up your own cup first and serving um, and supporting others from the saucer <laughs> not even from your not even from the cup the cup is yours it's it's serving and supporting others from the saucer and that's because everybody wins in that situation everybody gets that true kind of um, energy you know there's no depletion in there there's no resentment uh, even though you're not maybe aware of it it's kind of really coming from a true fulfilled contented place rather than a kind of like feeling knackered, feeling tired. And it's like, oh my God, I've still got to do this. And I've got to sort that person out and look after this, which always puts you at the bottom of the list in terms of having any time or energy for yourself. So this really supports, the true service really supports you with activating a sense of deeper devotion for yourself and your needs and your desires to be met. So by pulling this card today, the Akashic Records are asking you to consider who you are in service to. Is it others or is it yourself? Are you supporting yourself, loved ones, friendships and clients from a place of desperation, lack or servitude or from a place of value, integrity and unconditional love? When you place importance on honoring your needs first, then attaining alignment will be effortless. Being in true service to yourself allows you to dissolve the impulse to overgive, to feel responsible for other people's results, or to want to fix, save, or heal, regardless of consequences for yourself. Operating from a place of true service to others allows space for their misalignment so that they can learn, grow, and evolve too. So that is the uh, that is the theme of the card. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go into the records and we're going to release what I was given as the vows of sacrifice and servitude that you may have taken that are basically on some level upholding that oath, that declaration to be in service and servitude and sacrifice your own needs and desires um, above your own. And so when we break these types of vows and declarations, what we're doing is we're opening up the opportunity for us to let go of guilt, let go of that impulse, that need that uh, we've placed um, an importance on for whatever reason, you know, and it might be because we want to feel needed, we want to feel loved by others. So we feel that that is the only way to do that. And so in order to do that, we, you know, we, 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 we have to put ourselves last. 
And it might not be something that you logically do. It's just part of the behavior pattern that you've created. And so by releasing these vows, we're just opening up the opportunity for you to let go or see the patterning of where that's happening so that you can start to do something about it. And it is really about having more of a um, a desire to start to be in service to yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally, and of course, spiritually as well. So it's being devoted to yourself and your needs and desires also. So without further ado, let's uh, let's get in there. I'm just seeing if there's any comments. No. Okay, perfect. So what I want you to do is place your palms upwards. What we do here is we're telling the body straight away that we're going into a receptive state in order to receive whatever we need to receive. And then you may want to kick your shoes off. You may uh, just want to give them a little shuffle on the floor. And what we're doing is we're just kind of bringing our awareness to our feet. So straight away, what I'm encouraging you to do is to drop out of the mind uh, and the busyness of the mind and drop back into the body. So resting your hands on the tops of your thighs, just start to feel the connection there of the hands. And then when you're ready, I want you to close your eyes. And we're just going to start to relax into the body. So take a big, deep breath in for me. And as you take that big, deep breath in, we're going to call back all of your energy from across time and space, people and events. And on the out breath, I want you to relax your shoulders, just allow all tension just to melt away from the shoulders. And as you release and relax, we're just asking for anything that's not serving or supporting you, any energies that are not for your highest good, just to now be released back into the earth. Mother Earth will take these and recycle these energies elsewhere. So just actively releasing anything that's not supporting you. And again, take another big deep breath in, calling back all of your energy from across time and space, people and events. And on the out breath, we're releasing, relaxing, letting anything go from the mind, any thoughts, any thoughts that will pass through the mind. We're just allowing those just to float through, travel through, and anything that is important will return. It will come back to you after this exercise, but just allow yourself to actively let go of the lists, the thoughts the worries, the insecurities, everything's just now being released back into the ground, back into the earth. And again, take another big deep breath in, calling back all of your energy from across time and space, people and events. And on the out breath, I want you to notice the backs of the hands resting on the tops of the thighs. Noticing the shoulders, the forehead and the jaw relaxing. Noticing the feet resting against the floor. The sitting bones on the chair. Your back being fully supported. Really bring yourself back into your body as you continue that deep cycle of breath in and out. And with every cycle of breath, your body will become more and more relaxed as you connect deeper and deeper with your physical body, coming out of the head and into the heart, focusing on your heart chakra, noticing that beautiful golden ball of light as your heart chakra starts to glow. And that ball of light starts to expand in the chest, in the ribs, within the back. Feeling that glow of energy as it grows with every cycle of breath in. And on the out breath, it grows bigger. Breathing in. And on the out breath, that golden ball of light grows bigger. And that golden light continues to expand through the body, through the skin, through all of the bones, the meridians, the chakras, the nadis, 
every part of your physical and energetic being is being filled with this golden light. The golden light starts to expand beyond the physical body through the skin and out into your aura. Continuing to grow and glow all around you. Soon enough, that golden light fills up the whole room that you're sitting in. Every corner, every nook, every cranny is filled with this golden light direct from your heart chakra. And I'm now going to ask for the threads from your heart chakra to now expand and take the way down into the earth. So there's two golden threads coming out of the soles of your feet and down into the earth, going through all of the different levels and layers of the planet, also down to the heart of Mother Earth. Mother Earth is represented by a beautiful glowing crystal. Just notice what color that crystal is today and allow your golden roots to wrap around that crystal, the heart of Mother Earth. And as you connect with her heart, your own heart chakra, the golden light all around you starts to glow even brighter as you connect with her heart, feeling the unconditional love, the groundedness, groundedness, the connection, the earthedness that Mother Earth offers you today. Take a big deep breath in here for me. And on the out breath, just notice how much more settled in your chair, how much more connected you feel to your physical body and to the earth. That golden light all around you continues to expand, cleansing and clearing anything and everything in your environment. And this is for the highest good of all concerned. So any negative energies, lower astral energy entities, gray field spirit, anything that doesn't support you, thought forms, projections, fears from the collective, all of these are being evaporated and dissolved in this golden light. We're now inviting a golden pillar of light to come directly from divine source energy through Helios, our spiritual son, the portal to divine source, through our solar junction chakra far in the sky. And that golden pillar of light now enters the room that you're in, allowing the golden pillar of light to connect with this golden light from your heart chakra. And this divine source light starts to mingle. These two golden lights merge to become one. The glow of this light feels stronger. And again, it's filled with divine love. As all of your etheric chakras above your head and in the earth, are opened up and are balanced to the perfect pace for you. So the etheric chakras above your head, in particular, the corsal chakra that connects with the Akashic records, which is at the back of the head, three to four inches from the back of the skull. Also asking for a focus at the ultra major chakra, which is at the top of the neck, at the base of the skull. This is your female portal into your intuition, but also we're just gonna unplug anything that has us connected into the 3D that doesn't support us. This includes vows of servitude and sacrifice that you have made, that you are still upholding with this programming, the connections that are held within that point. We are asking for your highest good to unplug those, remove or release, 
or neutralize any circuitry there that doesn't support you, that has you connected into the illusions that you have to be in servitude to others before you meet your own needs and desires. Just allowing the golden light from divine source, from your heart, just to unplug, cleanse, clear that point there. We're now asking for your spiritual support team, beings of light of 100% pure love and light, to so step into the space with you. These will be guides and beings of all types, star races, galactic beings, galactic councils, angels, archangels, goddesses, gods, ascended masters, elemental energies, dragons, fae, unicorns, mer people, your ancestors, your family guides, all are welcome to step into your space. And we ask for those guides now to step closer to you, to make themselves known so you can perhaps feel their energies or just know that they are there. We invite your ego to step out of the body, leave the room, which your ego is quite happy to do with a smile upon their face because they know that they'll be back soon enough. With the door closed behind them, know that any guidance, wisdom or insight that comes through will come from your guides and not your subconscious mind. So we're now going to invite six archangels just to hold you in angelic white light with Archangel Michael stepping in behind you, Archangel Gabriel to your left, Archangel Raphael to your right. We invite Archangel Uriel to stand in front of you. Archangel Sandal Farm, please take a space below our feet, ensuring we are connected in with the crystalline grid of the earth. And Archangel Metatron, please take a space above our heads, ensuring we are connected in with the crystalline grid of divine source, Christ conscious light. With these six archangels now encasing you in beautiful white angelic light, I want you to start to focus on your third eye, the point between your eyebrows. Start to imagine that there's a purple portal of light that's starting to spin and get bigger and bigger. It gets so big that you can step through that purple portal of light and you find yourself in front of a door. On this door, I want you to sense, feel, know, or imagine that your details upon it. These are your full name, your date of birth, your place of birth. Once you know that your details are there, place your hand upon the door handle and open the door to your Akashic Records. Step through the doorway into your own cosmic library, allowing the door to shut behind you and just allow yourself to become accustomed to this space where all of your knowledge, all of your wisdom, all of your experiences from your soul's creation are held within the pages of the books that line up this library, that fill the space. This is like coming home. Feel the connection to your own wisdom. Allow yourself to breathe this space in, breathe in the knowledge. And whilst you are breathing, we're just going to ask for your guides, your Akashic Record Keepers to step into the space with you. Sense, know, feel how many there are. Perhaps these are familiar guides. Maybe they're brand new. Introduce yourself in any way that feels appropriate. And your guides are smiling and are delighted that you're here connecting in with the Akashic Records today to release any vows, 
of servitude and sacrifice that are ready to be released. And these may not be all of the declarations and oaths and promises that you've made, because some still may be serving you in a way where they are supporting you with a spiritual growth lesson, perhaps paying back karmic debt. But the ones that are ready to be released, the ones that are going to support you in stepping into a place of being able to feel more comfortable with placing yourself first, looking at where your needs and desires are not being met and understanding why that is, and being more motivated and open to discover how your needs and desires can be met. What small changes that you can introduce into your life to have you feel more balanced, more fulfilled, more content, to not need to sacrifice yourself in order to serve others. That is old paradigm. That is old survival ways. We live in a an abundant universe. We live in a world where abundance is all around us. And that includes how we have a relationship with ourselves. And if you continue to uphold the sacrifice and the servitude behaviors and thoughts and feelings, you continue to uphold that survival paradigm. It is time to step out of that and know that we can all be abundant. All of our needs and desires can be supported, can be upheld. But this starts with you. So your guides are excited because they want to now hand you all of the vows of sacrifice and servitude that you have taken, that you have pledged, knowingly or unknowingly, in your past, your present, your parallel timelines. Hold out your hands and allow the guides to give you these perhaps sheets of paper, scrolls of paper. Just notice how many are being given. Perhaps as you are holding these pieces of paper, you may be given some numbers which may represent the year, the timeline that these were created. But this isn't important. What is as important is that these are now being ready to be released, that your soul can actively give to you for them to be alchemized and released from the records. So just know that anything that we release today will be done for your highest good, health, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being, and that all knowledge will be kept intact in your Akashic records. We are just releasing the negative energetic hold that these vows, oaths, pledges, and promises are influencing in your life today. We are now asking for the violet flame of Saint Germain under the law of one to now present itself in front of you. These beautiful flames of violet, purple are now rising up in front of you in your Akashic records. And your guides are now inviting you to throw these into the violet flame. Watch, sense, feel, or just know as you throw each individual scroll or piece of paper into the violet flame, it is now being alchemized and your Akashic records are being re-edited, realigned as those oaths, and those pledges, those vows 
or being relinquished or being released. The flames grow higher all around you as you also receive a beautiful cleansing and clearing with the violet flame. Just releasing any guilt, any shame, any blame that also may be related to those vows. Everything is being released in this violet flame. Everything is being updated in your Akashic records. Those vows and oaths have now dissolved, disappeared, have now gone. The violet flame starts to die down and then completely disappears. I want you to take a deep breath in for me. And on the out breath, just notice if there's any physical changes in the body, maybe in the mind, perhaps where you do not feel as burdened around the shoulders, perhaps are starting to feel more motivated in how you can start to build a deeper practice of self-care, self-love, starting to feel excited about what the future holds when you can start to introduce these practices into your life now. Your guides are pleased that these vows have been relinquished. And in your present lifetime book, we are now just going to ask for the following Akashic Alignment Mantra to be installed as a success anchor that will continue to support your trust with being able to fulfill your own needs and desires, being in true service to yourself and the opportunity that this opens for you. So just imagine that you've got your open book, your present lifetime book there in front of you. It's on today's page, it's completely blank. And these words will start to appear and they will imprint themselves into the book and will be installed as a success anchor, as a way for you to align as you move forward. And those words, the Akashic Alignment Mantra is, I serve myself and others with the energy of empowerment and integrity, knowing that I'm in true service to myself first. I serve myself and others with the energy of empowerment and integrity, knowing that I'm in true service to myself first. I serve myself and others with the energy of empowerment and integrity. I know that I'm in true service to myself first. That intention has now been installed as a success anchor and will support your alignment after this session. It is now time to leave your Akashic records. Say goodbye to your guides in any way that feels appropriate. And then when you're ready, I want you to open the door of your Akashic Records. Allow the door to shut behind you and out loud or in your mind, I want you to now say, I now close my Akashic Records. When you're ready, step through the purple portal of light in front of you. And start to bring yourself back round into the space back into the room that you're in and when you're ready I want you to start to rub your thighs and what we're doing here is we're just grounding ourselves back into the body start to rub your feet upon the floor and that's just waking up the body it's just connecting you with your body and then you can have a stretch and have a big drink of water and keep drinking the water over the next 24 hours because that will continue to flush your system of the healing that we've activated today. There may be further inspiration and ideas. 
just ways that perhaps where you have been upholding a behavior of servitude um, or perhaps sacrifice. And you can then start to look at how you can realign your thought patterns, your behaviors around that. And also you may get further wisdom that comes through. But being hydrated just allows you to continue to receive those messages, that wisdom, but also to flush the system as well. So let me know in the comments um, how you found that. Um, if you feel like you need to go and ground a bit further, then go and put your feet outside. You may want to hold something that's um, dark, um, like in terms of crystal, so it's a little bit more grounding. It kind of brings you back down to earth. Eating dark chocolate really helps, or root vegetables also really help you to kind of uh, get grounded again. If you are keeping an Akashic Record journal, which I do really, really um invite you to do because it really shows your progress in terms of connecting to the Akashic Records, but also what you're healing, what you're unlocking, and what you're seeing in terms of evidence of things changing, things, you know, triggers that you're letting go of, behaviors that are starting to kind of move and change and evolve and grow into something that's a bit more in alignment. <clears throat> Having a journal to see your progress really helps the ego get on board and continue with this type of practice and allows you to have the time and space and be in true service to yourself whilst you're doing it. So it's a win-win situation, but sometimes we have to put the effort in and, and kind of set up these practices so that we do it. So love and blessings, everybody. I do hope you enjoyed that. I will be back next week with a new Akashic meditation and connection tune in. And if you do want to uh, get your own deck, uh, the Akashic Oracle deck, then please do reach out and I can share a link or share information about that. Okay, so have a fabulous, um, a fabulous day and I'll speak to you soon.